hello viewers welcome to my channel in this video i want to show everyone on how to convert uh, geographic longitude and latitude coordinates to the utm northings and eastings respectively just like what you are seeing on the screen so if you have actually extract some sets of data from the google earth pro and um, you want to integrate it into other card packages like AutoCAD, there will be a need for you to do these uh, conversions that you are about to see. So let's just get started. So I'm just going to delete this uh, data and I'm going to leave the raw geographic uh, longitude and latitude coordinates. You click on file, scroll down to save us. Click on browse to note a folder you want to save your data. So I'll leave it as survey data. Click on the uh, save as type drop down here. Then you save as comma delimited. So make sure you save as comma delimited. When you are done, you close your Excel worksheets. Then you can make use of this uh, application, Francine. So in my last video, I showed how to convert the Cartesian X and Y to the geographic uh, longitude and latitude to be incorporated in other GIS packages such as Google Earth Pro, ArcGIS or ArcGIS Pro and the rest of that. But in this case, I want to convert to UTM Eastings Northings. So when you open your application called Francine, click on From File. Select this first option to convert coordinate from CSV file. Then you click on Start Wizard. Then you click on Next. Click on Browse to navigate to the folder where you have your raw survey data. So I have it under my YouTube folder, survey data. Select it. Click on Open. Then you click on Next. So under the field separator, make sure it is comma. Then you click on Next. Then here, this is the default coordinate type or format of your raw data. So my data is on longitude, latitude and not eastings, northings. So you check on the first option. Click on the drop down, then make it decimal degrees dots. It will appear here, then you click on next. Leave this checked, then you click on next. So under your select fields, preview click on the drop down then let your longitude field tally with the longitude let your latitude field tally with the latitude this is very important after you have done this you click on next then it is going to automatically read the coordinate system of your coordinates however you can checkmate that by clicking on select datum in case yours is not reading your desired datum you check the desired datum under the earth click on the wgs 64 so that is the datum the geographic longitude and latitude coordinates format uses so after you confirm that you click on ok then you click on next then you click on save as for you to rename your output file so i'm just going to call this output therefore after you rename if you want your data to be exported in excel format make sure it is the extension after your file name dot small letter csv that is dot lowercase csv so that is the extension for excel then you click on save so you are going to see it rename here then you click on next so this is the output coordinate type of format so i want it to be eastings northings and not longitude latitude so you check the eastings northings option Click on the drop down here, then make it decimal comma dot. After you have done this, click on next. Then you click on select grid. So this is where you are to navigate your country of interest. So depending on where your raw data was observed on, you need to navigate to the country. All right, so it is under Africa, under Nigeria. So these are the available projection system in Nigeria. So I'm just going to click on my UTM zone 32. So this is where I want my data to be converted into. So I want it to be converted from the geographic longitude, 
latitude to the UTM zone 32 Eastern Northeast. So you select your projection system of interest, then you click on OK. After you have done this, it is going to read that, then you click on Next. Leave this select unit as meters, except you want to do it otherwise. Then you click on Next. After that, then you click on Next, and you can see conversion completed. Then you click on OK, then you click Finish. So that's just it, very easy to do. You can now go ahead to check your output data. I have it under my YouTube and I have it as survey data output here. So I'm just going to open that. So you can see guys, it has been converted. So this is the raw longitude and latitude geographic data. And here is my UTM Eastern Northern data so I'm just going to highlight all of this then change the color also this then separate the heading so you can just go ahead to uh, import your Eastings Nothings UTM coordinates into other card packages for other further measurements. If you find this video helpful and informative, do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as turn on your notification to keep getting valuable tutorial freely. Thank you. See you in the next video.